What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's time to get back in the money-making mood for another installment of CDL Best Bets. In today's Best Bets video, we are breaking down the odds and some of my favorite picks here for day four of the Seattle Surge Home Series. If you enjoy these picks and the video, don't forget to leave a like down below as always. Also, leave a comment with your thoughts on the picks and let me know your picks for the day. And subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more CDL betting and just general CDL breakdown videos from me in the future. I do appreciate all of that so very much, and let's hop right in. So yesterday was a weird day of matches. I think that's the best way to describe it. We went 1-3 and three on the day. London Moneyline did a hit for us barely. They really had no business winning that game 5 on uh, Miami. That was that round 11 should never have went their way. But also Paris map 2, that was a Moscow search where London had won one Moscow search all season long. I thought, okay, that's going to be no problem. And then London wins it in round 11. So happening at one of those bets was lucky to do that at least my only redeeming quality was that london money line was my biggest bet of the day yesterday so at least it wasn't a terrible day because they did save me there a little bit florida versus minnesota over that just got smoked uh, minnesota beat them 3-0 that was an impressive showing for them i will say though florida should have had round 11 defense on the search and destroy due to the lag out they were on offense instead that might have made the bet more likely to happen who knows probably not but it did annoy me a little bit and then Chicago map 3 and Florida map 1, obviously both of those lost, but just it goes to show you how weird of a day it was when Optic was up 2-0 in the LA Thieves, they got reverse swept, and they got reverse swept on their best map in every single game mode. Checkmate control is their best control, checkmate hardpoint is their best hardpoint, and Moscow search is their best search. They lost on all three of those maps to lose a series 3-0, or to 3-2. So that just goes to show you it was a weird day, hard day to bet on. Like I said yesterday, I was keeping those bets small because I was not so sure about some of them. Thankfully I did, you know, it wasn't a huge loss, and we are on to today. So... Kicking us off, we have the matchup of what I would say is the worst two teams in the league. I don't know if there's a dot on your screen. There's a dot on my screen. Hopefully, that's not there for you. But anyway, LAG versus the Seattle Surge. I think these are definitely the bottom two teams right now. They have three combined map wins and eight combined series so far this stage in these two teams. So that should tell you all you have to know right there. Very, very bad team. Seattle has only won a control. LAG has won a hard point and a search. Seattle, pretty big favorites in two of the three modes and then they are even odds both of them in the search so interesting series i guess you could say just in terms of what the heck are these two teams going to do next we saw octane on a sub for seattle in their last series will he do that again this series i don't know maybe maybe not i do think lag is taking themselves a little more seriously right now it seems like seattle's just straight up onto the let's have fun stage where some of the lag guys they know their spots for next year are probably in jeopardy so they are going to be trying to do as well as they can but their ceiling's just not very high. We know that by now. So definitely not an interesting series in terms of the talent, but just in terms of what the heck's going to happen next. Maybe they'll break GAs. I doubt it, but whatever. I don't know if anybody's going to watch this one, but that is the breakdown on that one. Moving on to FaZe versus the Subliners. The Subliner, coming into this stage, this seemed like it was going to be a very interesting match. We had the Subliners playing very well, getting Asim back. They thought they were going to be a very good team. Now they've just completely fallen apart. They have one series win so far. They don't have Clayster anymore right now, so they are definitely not as good as they were coming into the stage. FaZe, of course, they've still been very good. They did get that loss to Optic, but they're still looking strong so far this stage. And this is, uh, they are big favorites. I haven't seen odds this steep in a while, especially in that control. That minus 1,400 for FaZe in control is the biggest favorite I've seen in any game mode all season long. They're such big favorites that the handicap is actually two and a half maps. So basically, the odds makers think FaZe is more likely to win the control 3-0 than 3-1. That's how dominant they're expected to be in the control. It does make sense. It's New York's worst game mode. It's FaZe's best game mode. But the search and the hard point, big, big favorites there for FaZe as well. No real surprise. New York, again, not a very good team right now. And FaZe still the best team in the league. So that doesn't surprise me a whole lot to see those odds like that. And then the biggest match of the day and one of the biggest matches of the entire weekend, we have Dallas versus Toronto. The winner of this um, series will be in second place for champ seeding, and I think they're both going to get they're both gonna get guaranteed winners bracket spots. So no winners bracket on the line here, but that two seed for champs, of course, a big one because that team will get a buy in the first round of winners bracket at champs. So both these teams want this very very bad. Looking at the odds, Toronto is favored across all three modes, but not by a whole lot in the hard point and the search minus one forty minus one sixty five there. Then in the control, they are the pretty big favorites there at minus 260. Even though both teams are 4-0 in control so far this stage, I think it's definitely safe to say Toronto should be favored in the control. They've been very good at that mode, you know, top one or top two all season long. They've been phenomenal at that. Their search has been very good too, and then their hard points have been pretty solid. I mean, you see they only lost two maps all stage, so that tells you that they're playing very well in all the modes right now. I think... In my mind, I'd probably give Dallas better chances to win a search than a hard point. Personally, I see they have better odds in the hard point, but I don't know. I think 
they're a little bit better of a search team than Hardpoint, and Toronto can be a little bit vulnerable in search. You know, it's kind of hard to nitpick areas where Toronto's weak, but I think Dallas is more likely to win a search than a hard point. But we'll see how it plays out. You never know. I've been wrong before, obviously, as we saw yesterday. So we will see how that one shakes out. But here are the picks. So two small ones on there. First up, LAG map one at plus 185. Small bet, like I said. There's only one reason for this, and it's because Seattle Surge are so bad that I don't think it, it makes sense for them to be a minus 250 favorite over any team in any game mode. I don't care what the map is. I don't care how bad LAG are. Seattle is not good enough to warrant a minus 250. So that LAG map one is more of an anti-Seattle pick than a pro LAG pick. Of course, I know LAG is a terrible hardpoint team, but Octane running a sub, Classic getting fried, whatever gun he runs, whatever else. There's no reason for that to be that big of a favorite. So I'm just sort of playing the... That's why I kept it a small bet. I'm just playing that one because I like the odds, not necessarily the actual team and the map itself. But at plus 185, I could not pass that one up because there's no way they're that much worse than Seattle. If they are, I'd be very surprised. So I did keep that one small. The other small one is just all three teams that I think are going to win. The money line bets, Toronto, FaZe, and LAG. And I kept it small because, of course, I'm kind of confident in Toronto and very confident in FaZe winning their series. But LAG, of course, that's a toss-up. So that's why I kept that one small. And to show you how small those bets are, those two bets combined are still smaller than either of the two other bets on their own. So very small bets. Just wanted to get a little bit higher odds, get a little exposure to some of those better odds. So like if that would hit, that'd be awesome. At plus 307, though, you got to keep that bet small. That's one thing. Smart bettors will not bet a lot of money on odds that big. You know, smart bettors probably wouldn't bet that at all. So I'm definitely a little bit more on the risky side, but I am at least being smart enough to keep that bet pretty small because... LAG winning is obviously no guarantee with the way they've been pretty much all season long. The other two are Toronto minus 1.5. I was really happy to see that at plus odds. I was figuring that was going to be around like minus 125, minus 130. I just like I was saying earlier, I think they're be they're the better team in all three modes. So I, of course, I can see Dallas taking a map for sure. And I mean, they could take two. They could win the series. They're a good team. But I do like Toronto. I think they have the better AR duo and maybe the better SMG duo. It's pretty close. And there's always that chance that Shotzi just goes god mode and takes over a map and gets his team a victory. But I think Toronto is too good of a team. They have individual talent, but they also play together well as a team. So I think it'd be pretty hard for Shotzi to sort of backpack his team to two wins over Toronto. Of course, somebody else could step up. That's not out of the realm of possibility. But I do like Toronto minus one and a half. They're definitely clicking right now. They're back in the conversation. Top two team in the game, most definitely. They've been great this whole stage. And then Atlanta minus 2.5. I was going to parlay that with something else, but I was like, eh, I don't really want to risk anything there i just think atlanta minus 2.5 is i'm pretty confident that i would have liked a little bit better odds minus 155 is still small odds but whatever uh, i just don't see where new york wins a map here i think maybe search i don't know but phase is such a good search team like they're just so much better than new york at every mode if if Clayster was there and new york was playing like they were earlier in the season of course phase would probably only be minus 1.5 but at minus 2.5 i still like it because i just there's no way new york wins the control i can't see them being able to slay enough to keep up with phase in a hard point now the only thing that does concern me a little bit is that who knows what maps phase is going to play maybe they're going to want to play different maps to try to expand their map pool as we head to the major and the champs but even then their map pool is still already very big so the only thing like maybe they'd pick a checkmate control but even then they could still win it three to two like I, I just can't see new york being able to keep up in the slang in the respawns that's the thing like in the search could they win it yeah but phase is also a very good search team but in the respawns i highly highly doubt new york will be able to keep up in the slaying department so not only will phase out slay them but they'll also outplay them like they're just such a good team their teamwork they're they're on the same page whatever you want to say they're just so much better i think so I do like them minus 2.5. I would be kind of surprised to see New York take a map off phase just because phase is such a well-oiled machine and New York is just sort of still downward spiral. They got one win this series or this stage and it's a 3-2 win over Paris. So not exactly a very convincing performance from them so far this stage. So phase minus 2.5. I locked that one in and I'm hoping and I'm pretty confident in that one. So that's going to do it for today's picks. If you enjoyed, as always, don't forget to leave a like down below and leave a comment as well with your thoughts on the picks and subscribe to the channel as well if you want to come back in the future and see more betting and general CDL videos from me. I do appreciate all of that so very much. I like to see that subscriber count going up, getting more likes on the video, more comments, more views. All that stuff means so very much to me. So I thank you for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good day today and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.